What's going on guys, it's Heath. I'm here with another DIY project. This is a do-it-yourself kayak fishing crate project. I've seen a few guys do this and decided to go ahead and do it myself since I had a few old crates laying around. This is a kayak fishing crate I had from a previous kayak that I no longer have, so I no longer use it. Decided to go ahead and disassemble it, take off the rod holders, take out the yak gear pouch, and see if it fit. It fit. Guys, make sure that before you just start cutting away and drilling away that you're using a crate that does fit your already in use original crate that you're using. I decided to pick the spot that was not going to have some jagged pieces after I cut it, which is about three inches from the bottom. So there it is. It was a little rough. I'm going to get to sanding it here in a second. But first, let's make sure it fits. Yep, it fits. So let's go ahead and get out the sander. Actually, I had to chop a few pieces off here. It's still a little jagged. I didn't want to waste my sandpaper on that. So now it's time to sand. I think this is... I'm not sure, maybe 60 grit, I'm not really sure what it is, but cut it off pretty easy. So now it's time to drill in the holes where the zip ties are going to go and act as a hinge. You want to make sure that you have room to drill on the top crate and on the bottom crate so that the zip tie doesn't get stuck or they don't interfere with each other. So just make sure you have room, make sure you're clear, you have the clearance that you need. For this, I decided to make sure I put in the right side first, and then I'm going to move to the left side. I didn't want to just, you know, do the right side, then the middle, and then the left, and then add a few other hinges. I wanted to make sure I did the right and then the left, just to make sure that there's no gaps, and that it fits properly, and that I don't get off track. So that's what I did. I did the right, and then I did the left, and that's what I'd recommend you guys to do, just to make sure you don't have any problems. That looks pretty good, it's pretty sturdy. And the easy thing is, if, if it pops off, you know, you can just put a new zip tie. So now it's time to add the bungee. The first time I drilled it, it wasn't big enough, so I had to step it up one more size. And that seemed to do the trick. So my thought process on putting the bungee was, I didn't want to go to the very top. You know, there was no room at the bottom. So I decided to go with the second great hole from the handle and that seemed to fit just about right. You want to make sure that you pull out all the slack when you do this just to make sure it stays pretty tight. Went ahead, tied the knot, pulled the slack, cut off the slack and then what I did was just take a lighter and light the end just to make sure it hardens my knot and also takes off any frayed ends. So there it is, the finished product. I felt like it would work good for me on the water, it might not work good for you. I need a little extra storage on the top when I'm, you know, cleaning my fish, throw tools up there, throw my anchor up there, throw my bait bucket up there. It just offers another level to put things and to keep things and separate things. So organization is key in a kayak. I hope that this DIY helped you out and if you want to share it, go ahead and do that guys. Alright, take it easy.